2020 Vision is a really ambitious conservation photography project, perhaps the biggest Britain has ever staged. It's about ecosystems. We want to show how a revitalised British landscape where ecosystems function as they should are of huge benefit, not only to wildlife but to us too. We all depend on the services that nature provides, clean air, fresh water, productive soils, so it makes absolute sense for everyone to help in restoring and maintaining these natural processes. So 2020 Vision is, is not really about photography, that's just the tool. It's about communication and people. It's about conveying the simple but irrefutable link between healthy ecosystems and healthy people. Well, for decades, nature conservation has focused mainly on individual species or fragments of habitat, but we now know that this is just not enough. We have to start to reconnect and restore whole ecosystems at a landscape scale. And because that process is slow, it's often measured in decades, even centuries, and the benefits are not always easily measured, it's quite difficult for people to, to get their heads around. So we want to communicate with people in a language that is accessible and relevant. We want to bypass the conservation jargon and using visual imagery make ecosystems really exciting. So I think 2020 Vision provides a bridge, a bridge between conservation science and a wide mainstream audience. Well, for the first time, we brought together 20 of the country's most talented and committed conservation photographers. This collaboration in itself is a milestone, but they won't be working alone. We've teamed up with other specialists like aerial videographers, sound recordists, designers, writers, even musicians in order to bring this story to life. But the answer to who is, is not just about the 2020 Vision team. This project relies on genuine collaboration from the conservation community, from public bodies, and of course the corporate sector. So the strength of 2020 Vision doesn't lie with individual talents or resources, but with the collective. And by working together, we can produce something much more effective than would ever be possible by working in isolation. Over the course of around two years, our photo team will be working hard, gathering thousands of images and video clips which will tell the story of Britain's ecosystems and how our health depends on natural processes. We'll carry out 20 major assignments up and down the country where people are coming together and restoring whole landscapes. And this isn't just happening in the wilds of Scotland or Wales, this is happening in major cities like Birmingham and Glasgow and, and even London. The fieldwork for 2020 Vision starts in October and will continue for 20 months. And during that time, our photographers, they won't just be taking pictures, they'll be working alongside local conservation groups, communities, schools. They'll be giving slideshows and doing media interviews. And they'll also be mentoring 20 young people through our Young Heroes scheme who will take their experiences and images back into their own peer groups and communities. So again, this is really uh, about communication. Well, this is the exciting bit, really. We want everyone to see 2020 Vision and to be moved by its message. We're planning major outdoor exhibitions in city squares, in shopping centres. We'll be staging an exciting outdoor audiovisual show using the latest technology. There'll be a range of musical events, concert tours with youth orchestras, street dance. This really is an opportunity to take a crucial conservation message out onto the streets of Britain. And we also want to make the resources created available to those who are best placed to use them, our partners. These images will allow them to better communicate their messages. Well, we've done a lot of planning, but this is really the start of an exciting journey. And, and we don't know exactly where that journey might end up. But we hope in the meantime that everyone comes along and enjoys the ride.